Hello, hello, Rodrigo. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Fine, fine, very fine. fine. Okay. We are long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, people are coming right now. Yeah, no problem. Rolando is always here. Ah, uh, yes, I know. Rolando is, is loyal to the class. He's always in <laughs> Yes. He he and his dog. <laughs> yes. yes. Have you have you heard his dog? It's always done. Wah, rah, rah, rah. Okay. <laughs> Do you have no dogs? Do you have uh, dogs, Rodrigo? Yes, I have two. Two dogs. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, but it's a medium medium dog because it's a bull terrier. Ah, oh, okay. Is it a kind of you know? Um, wild dog or it's calm no it's friendly it's friendly, ah, it's friendly. good That's yeah it. good yeah. My, mine is also uh well it, it, it is three months old right so it's it's a baby but yeah my, it's a baby my my, no, daughter, my daughter is this... really happy with my dog so uh right yes okay now this one is uh our uh six years Six oh. years. Oh, yeah. okay. it's an adult. Yeah, it's adult. Okay. Hey, Juan Alfonso, welcome. Welcome, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. This is your, your last class, right, Juan Alfonso? No. No, no. Eh, estaré mañana todavía. Ah, okay, no. good. Sí, good. estaré. Everything is, everything is ready. You're getting some pupusas to Italy. Yes? Sí. <laughs> Pupusas Italy, hay un restaurante en, en Milano. Ah, oh, imagine, imagine. A, a, las, a las afueras de la Plaza Provenza. Ah, interesting. Hay, hay salvadoreños emprendedores. I know, I imagine. Listen, Juan Alfonso, <laughs> uh, when I was in Italy, uh, we had like one week eating only salad, cheese, because we ¿Sí? didn't have enough money to, to, to go to a restaurant every night, right? <laughs> Because yes. a dinner in, in Rome is like 40 euros. Y, teacher, uh -huh. imagino and, que se dio cuenta lo, lo caro que yes. es el, el, el agua. Ah, the water, yes. But it was a public fun time in, in Rome. Are you, yes. I, I remember I, I, we went and, and drink water in, <laughs> ¿Sí? in the fun time, yes. But I wanna, well, what I want to tell you, uh, Juan Alfonso, is that I went finally in, in the termine, la termine, you know, Sí. Discover a, a they call the bar, right? Bar, where you go and 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 you pay if you want to sit <laughs> in the place, but if you only go and take the things to go, you don't pay, right? So we we discovered this uh, roast chicken, you know, pollo rostrizado, right? For yes. Sal, for Salvadorian, ooh, it's the heaven, right? <laughs> when we ben. when we went there. We didn't know how to speak Italian, right? And and the guy, the guy in front of the was saying, and this guy he said, "Que quieren estos, que quieren estos inditos, right?" <laughs> and we were like, we only speak English, right, and Spanish, and how to communicate. But suddenly, a a, a lady was next to us, and she saw us, right? Like, mm, you're Salvadorian, right? She said, "Oh yes, we're Salvadorian. Do you want to ask food here?" And then we said, yes, please help us, help us. And she said <laughs> she was from Milan. She was visiting Rome, but she 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 lived in Milan. And she said that they, there are like 30,000 Salvadorian in Milan. 30, yes. mil, right? Like 30 yes, mil or more. More Salvadorian, right? Okay. Eh, hay, hay un pueblo afuera de Milano que prácticamente es para mucho latinoamericano. Okay. It's... Ellos trabajan en diferentes áreas, pero hay mucho, more, more Salvadorian. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of Salvadorian, you know, a lot of Salvadorian, I imagine. A lot of Salvadorian. Okay, very good. So I, I hope you have a good trip, Juan Alfonso, and take pictures. Uh, we're probably going to stay together in the next level, so you can show us the picture, right? <laughs> no, no, okay. Le, voy a traer a todos un, una muestra de, del aceite de olivo. Ok. Le voy a traer, por supuesto, parmesano. Parmesano. Okay. Un, okay. Hay, un, hay una rosca navideña mm, típica. Okay. 
eh, Entonces, que se hace con diferentes en la, tipos de... La Toscana, de, la Toscana. En la Toscana tradicional. Ahí les Ahí voy es. a traer sus recuerdos. Ok, good. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Alfonso. Enjoy your trip, right? Ok, class. Eh, welcome back. This is the last class before the test. We, we, tomorrow we have the test, right? And today is the last class. So uh, it's the time for you to take the opportunity to finish all the platform, right? So welcome everybody, welcome Silvia, Roberto, Claudia Ramos, Hilda, Adonai. It's a pleasure for me to stay one more class to you. I hope that if it is possible, we can stay together in the pre-intermediate tree, right? But I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe you have another teacher, maybe, but for me, it will be a pleasure to stay with you in the next level, right? And remember the classes are going to start in January, January, right? So I, I imagine all of you have received the, the, the email, right? Telling you the information for the registration. And you have until December 23rd, right? Tienen hasta el 23 de diciembre, as far as I know, right? Según la información que yo manejo. So you have time to fulfill the, the, the solicitude, right? The, the papers, okay? And remember that uh, if you have any question, call the there are some telephone numbers like jonathan oscar they are uh, my co-workers there in in the office because my classes are from my home <laughs> not in the office right you're not here right? so but they have all the administrative and technical information right okay and all the questions related with the platform academic the teacher bird to be <laughs> the teacher. <laughs> Good. So let, that's it. Let's start with the, with the class, right? Uh, today we're going to review some parts, right? And we are going to work together in, in groups again, right? You know? Okay. So let's, let me show you the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Let me see. Oops. Um, I will open it. Give me a second. Okay, it's opening, it's opening. Okay, now I will share with you. Give me a second, please. My goodness, I cannot find it. Um, sorry, sorry class, give me, give me a second. I can, ah, yes, here, here it is. Yes, finally. <laughs> I was afraid, but now I have it, right? Okay, pre-intermediate two, right? Uh, today we're going to learn the use of for and since in the present perfect, right? And also we're going to learn about link sounds, link sounds, right? Link, right? Link sounds. Good. Now uh, let's just start with the with the objective, please. Uh, Juan Alfonso, can you read the objective for for the class, please? Lesson objective in this session is use of excuse me, of for and since will be expand. Explain? Explain. 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 No, no, no. Ex explained. Explain. Okay. Oh, Ooh. sorry. Go. Sorry. This this word. Give me a second. Throughout. A través de. Throughout. 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 Uh -huh. Throughout. And audio, not the expression. Okay. Good. And also there is a mistake here, right? Um, perdón. La R debe estar antes de la O. <laughs> Throughout. Okay, good. So, and, and then let's start with the information. When do we use for, right? We use for for periods of time, right? Uh, for example, two weeks, a few months, several years, a long time, many days, 10 minutes, Etc., etc., right? So those are periods of time, right? Okay, and then we have the, the examples here. I've been here 
for two weeks. For two weeks. Right? She has worked in that company for for a few months. A few months is, is a period of time, right? They have lived in this neighborhood for several years. Several years. It's a period of time too, right? I have waited for you for a long time. This is very common. We may, men always wait for, for women <laughs> when we are in a restaurant or we are when we are in Metro Centro. I'm, I'm, I have been waiting for you for a long time, you know, <laughs> for a long time. And then we have I have studied for many for many days, sorry, for many days, right? I have seen this program for 20 minutes. You see the present perfect, right? Four, 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 four. So you talk about periods of time, right? Now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. I have been here for two weeks. She has worked in that company for a few months. They have lived in this neighborhood for several years. I have waited for you for a long time. I have studied for many days. I have seen this program for 20 minutes. Now again, let's Let's uh, practice more. Again, repeat us to me, please. I, ha I have been here for two weeks. She has worked in that company for a few months. They have lived in this neighborhood for several years. I have waited for you for a long time. I have studied for many days. I have seen this program for 20 minutes. Okay, let's practice uh, repetition, please. Morena, can you repeat the first sentence, please, for the class? Come on, Morena, repeat. I have been here for two weeks. Only you, only Morena. Hello, hello. Teacher calling Morena. Teacher calling Morena. Are you there? Are you there? Okay, good. No problem. Now, Vicky, please, can you help me, Vicky? Can you repeat the first sentence, please? Okay. I have been here for two weeks. Excellent. Good pronunciation, Vicky. Nice. Okay, Mai, please, the Thank second you. sentence. You're welcome. Mai, the second sentence. She has worked in that company for a few months. Thank you. Thank you. Now, but listen, Mai, worked. Works. The T right then. T T T T work worked. Excellent. You see, <laughs> worked. Thank you. Now, uh, Lorena, the sec the sentence number three, Lorena. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. They have lived in this neighborhood for several years. Okay, for several years. Uh, repeat, Lorena, neighborhood. Neighborhood. Excellent. My goodness. Good pronunciation, right? Yes. Now, Hilda, the next sentence, please. I have wa wait for you for a long time. Good. Waited. Waited. Again, Hilda? Wait. Waited. Excellent. Very good. Claudia Ramos, please. Next sentence, please. 
Claudia, hello. Teacher calling Claudia. Teacher calling Claudia. Are you there? Are you there? Okay. Now. Um, oh, she doesn't, teacher. No, she, okay. Good. Now, Ana Maria, please help me. Can you read the next sentence, please? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, thank you. What sentence? Uh, I have studied. Oh, I have studied for many days. Excellent. Very good. Next sentence, please. Let me see. Morena. Hello, Morena. Are you there? No yet, right? Okay. Now, Adonai, please. Adonai, can you repeat the last sentence, please, for the class? Okay, teacher. I have seen this program for 20 minutes. Excellent. My goodness. Good pronunciation. Uh, Thank you, teacher. I, I, you are ready for uh, advance. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Okay>. no. <laughs> no, come on, you. You are ready. <laughs> Good. Now, uh, we have these sentences, right? And then the use of scenes. We use scenes for a specific time. Look, look at this. For, for periods of time, right? And scenes for a specific time. Look, 647. I'm sorry. Así se en right? No, 645, excuse me. 645 a.m. or p.m. or whatever, right? Or 3 p.m. or I don't know. Time, specific time. Yesterday, last weekend. 2016, high school, eh, basics, elementary school, sorry, et cetera, et cetera. Referring to a spe uh, specific period of time in the past, right? Okay. Now here we have some, some examples. Look. You have been here since 6.45, right? I estado aquí desde las 6.45, right? You have been here since... 6.45. You don't say 4, 6.45. Eh, no, 4, no. It's scenes, right? We haven't slept since yesterday. No hemos dormido desde ayer, right? De seguro se fueron de parranda. <laughs> Hanging out. Good. We haven't slept since yesterday. Since yesterday. Yesterday is very specific period of time, right? He has been on vacation since last week. Ooh, we need vacation, right? Hey. Next week is vacation for everybody, eh? Good. So he has been on vacation since last weekend. Last weekend is very specific period of time, right? I have visited this place since 2016. I have visited this place since, right? Since 2016. She has known me since high school. Ella me conoce, ella, ella me ha conocido desde el the bachillerato, right? High school. Okay. So notice since, 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 right? Understand? Okay. Now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. You have been here since 645. We haven't slept. Slept. Since yesterday. He has been on vacation since last weekend. I have visited, visited this place since 2016. She has known, known, she has known me since high school. Now again, please, again, come on. You have been here since 6.45. We haven't slept since yesterday. He has been on vacation since last weekend. I have visited this place since 2016.
She has known me since high school. Okay, now you help me with the pronunciation, right? Uh, let me see who's going to help me right now. Rodrigo, please, can you repeat the first sentence, Rodrigo? You have been here, here since 6.45. Thank you very much. Silvia, please, next sentence. Hello, Silvia. Teacher calling Silvia Roxana. Teacher calling Silvia Roxana. Are you there? Are you there, Silvita? Hello, teacher. <laughs> okay. Now repeat, please. We haven't slept. Uh -huh. Repeat. We haven't slept. We haven't slept. Mm -hmm. Listen. Slept. Slept. Excellent. Since yesterday. No, no listen. Teacher. Since le, okay, let me see. Since yesterday. Since yesterday. Since this yesterday. No, no. since. Ah, uh, since yesterday. Okay, very good. Es que se oye como un grillito ahí, eh, Silvia. Quizás el grito no está interrumpiendo la, la comunicación, ¿verdad? Okay, good. Next yes, sentence. Teacher. No problem. Irma, please, can you repeat the next sentence, Irma? He has been. Uh, good evening, teacher. What the, the, the next, the first, second, or third? Excuse me. No, the, the, the third one. He has been. Third one. He yes. has been on vacation side last weekend. Okay, thank you. But listen, since. Since. Okay. Now, Juan Alfonso, please. Next one. I have. I have visited this Vis place. Mm. Visited. Visited. Visited this uh -huh. place since two thousand. Two thousand sixteen. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, Roberto, please. She has known me since high school. Please. She has known me since high school. Good. That's it. Right now, class. Do you have questions about the use of for and since? Uh, me teacher. Yes, okay. Roberto, tell me. Uh, in this case, um, we can use the present perfect with a specific time. Uh-huh, yes. But when you use for, mm. for, right? And mm. when you use since. Okay. Uh, why is that? Because remember that when you use for, it's a period of time. And when you use, use since, it's, it's the moment, for example, let's say yesterday, right? We have yesterday to today, right? Tenemos desde el día de ayer hasta hoy. Desde el día de ayer hasta hoy ha pasado un periodo de tiempo, right? Okay? So, for example, if I say, I have been waiting for you since yesterday. He estado esperando por ustedes de ayer, right? So you say, ah, but yesterday is a specific period of time. Pero, pero yesterday es very bien específico, podría decir usted, ¿verdad? Pero no, estamos hablando que desde ayer hasta ahora hay un efecto hasta el, hasta el presente. Hasta el presente, ¿sí? Porque yo sigo esperando. Todavía en la acción tiene un efecto en el presente. En cambio, que si yo digo... I went to the park yesterday. Yo fui al parque ayer. Entonces, la acción la hice ayer y terminó ayer. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Ahí terminó. Es cierto que es específico, pero ya no hay un efecto en el presente. ¿Sí? En yes. cambio, que si yo le digo, lo he estado esperando desde ayer, o he estado, eh, eh, lo he conocido desde, desde el bachillerato, eh, he estado estudiando inglés desde hace un mes, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces, pero todavía hay un efecto en el presente. ¿Ok? Por eso es que podemos hablar de tiempos específicos. Pero es una forma diferente porque tenemos que usar la palabra since o for. Perdón, para referirnos al, 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 al pasado, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Understand, Thanks, Roberto? Ok, you're welcome. Yes, Thanks. You're welcome. Any other question?
¿Hay alguna pregunta extra? Alguien que haya entrado tarde, como Rolando Campos, por ejemplo. <ríe> el horror, landing, Rolando. teacher, land, landing, hi, good evening. No, I'm bothering you, right? Siempre me gusta molestarlo. Sorry, Rolando. Ok. No, eh, no, no problem. No problem. No problem. Eh, do you have any question about this, Rolando? No, teacher. No, no, no question. Ok. Good, no, thank eh... you. Good, thank you, thank you very much. Now, anybody else? Now it's time to work, right? It's time to practice. Listen, uh, we are going to complete these sentences, right? Uh, using scenes and for. So I need you capture, ch -ch -ch -ch, capture the screen, right? Screen capture. Hágame una, una captura de pantalla, por favor. Okay. Nos vamos a ir a trabajar en grupo. Yes? All right. Please. Listo. You're ready, right? You're ready. Captura de pantalla. Look. Captura de pantalla. <laughs> <laughs> Las heladas. Oh, okay. You're thinking on vacation, Rolando. Relax. Relax. Nothing. Nothing. You have to work. Working, 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 <laughs> working. Oh, so every day. Yeah, but that's the reason you have money, Rolando. That's the reason you have money, eh? Uh, yes, no <laughs> vacation. No vacation. Nada, nada. On, on Christmas, we wish you a Merry eh, Christmas. We wish. One day. One day. Oh, one day. Sorry. Sorry sí. for you. Sorry. Okay, class, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okie dokie. Now we're going to uh, make the groups. Let me see. Uh, we're going to make three groups, right? We, as we always do. Okay, uh, group number one, Adonai, Juan Alfonso, Lorena, Roberto, Vicky. Uh, group number two, Claudia, Claudia Ramos, Irma, Mai, Morena, Rolando Campos, right? That's group number, number uh, two, right? Group number three, Ana Maria, Hilda, Rodrigo, and Silvia Roxana, right? Ready? Now, please complete the exercise using since and for. Since and for. Remember, since is a specific period of time. For is periods in general, periods of time, right? Okay. Here we, here we go. Here we go. logran ver la eh, sí, pero no... sí pero no pero no es, Ajá, esa. No es esa no no es esa por si está en el grupo de whatsapp este ahí lo voy a mandar yo porque yo le tomé captura pero le tomé foto perdón con el teléfono ah, okay. si quieren yo la tengo yo puedo compartir también ah, ok, okay. Pero, eh, quiero ver aquí quién para ver para compartir porque no hello hello eh, si quieren se los hello. comparto hello. yo también ok teacher okay. Okay, sure. Thanks. pero denme ahí el mando porque... ajá así que eso lo voy a porque no está bien soltado el mando ahí 
<risa> Juan Alfonso, deme el poder, give me the power. <risa> deme... Aquí va, aquí va ya. Ah, déjeme ver. Desea continuar, dice, usted tendrá, sí, va. Ok, aquí lo tengo. No, no es este, perdón, no es este. Mm. Me quedé mal, voy a tener que abrir la presentación de PowerPoint porque ahí la tenía. Déjeme compartir, give me a second. Give me a second, please. Ahí la tengo ya. Regáleme un segundito. Abriendo, abriendo y ahora compartir. Ahí está ya. Hoy sí. Hágame la cantura de pantalla ahí si quieren. Ok. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, well, pay attention. Nombren un secretario y tengan cuidado con la número uno. Porque dice a month y luego dice last year. ¿Verdad? Vean que el primero es un periodo de tiempo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y el otro es un tiempo específico, last year. Entonces, ¿cuál van a poner ahí? Esa es la pregunta. Ahí ustedes tienen que analizar, ¿verdad? Ok. Y las demás creo que sí están un poco claras. <coughs> Solo de ir poniendo for and since, for and since, ¿ok? Good. Okay. ¿Ya lo capturaron? Sí. Ya estoy. ¿Me puedo salir ya? <ríe> ok. Vale, los dejo trabajando tranquilitos. Goodbye. And Valeria have been best friends. Pat and Valeria have Science. been best friends since. Science. Hello, hello. Estamos viendo ahí, compartiendo pantalla con Irma, ¿verdad? Eh, tengan cuidado con la primera, porque vean, al principio dice a month, y luego dice las year, o sea que a month es un period of time, y las year es specific, right? Entonces ahí, ¿cuál vamos a usar? Esa es la pregunta, ¿sí? Four. Vale, después Four. lo vamos. Después lo vamos a ver juntos, a ver si es cierto. Okay. 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 ¿Hay, ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Eh, en, en, la, en la dos, ah, perdón. Ah, en la dos, sí, en la dos, May. No, que en la dos al principio estábamos todos, que unos decíamos que eran seis y otro era eh, four. Vale, les voy a four. dar la clave para la dos. Ajá. Four years, four years. Ajá. Cuatro años. Que hay, un, que hay unos años específicos. Pero la confusión era porque decía almost. Sí, pero ahí ignoren eh, la palabra almost, ¿verdad? Aquí lo importante es no le voy... mm, Bueno, ahí piénsenlo, pero la clave es four years. No, es four. Four years, ¿verdad? <risa> Hagan la votación. <risa> ¿Quién vota por four? ¿Quién vota por since, right? <risa> ok. okay. Los dejo trabajando entonces. Eh, la número siete, compañero. Natalie. Four. Number eight. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. ¿Hay alguna, hay alguna uh, pregunta? I have a question. Tell me, please. Tell me. Yes, teacher. Eh, en number seven, uh -huh. eh, I have, tenemos la duda si es, si es, es steam o, o es for, porque dice desde, dice que Natalia está comprometida desde hace seis meses uh -huh. con Dani. Con Dani. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vale, espero que sea con Dani, que no sea con otro. <ríe> vale. Vale, si yo digo, for 10 minutes, son, es un periodo de tiempo, for 10 minutes. Sí. Yo digo, for two years, es un periodo de tiempo. Ahora, si digo, for six, perdón, 
for eh, two, no, perdón, for two years, periodo de tiempo. Ahora, six months, ¿qué es six months? ¿Es un periodo de tiempo o es un tiempo específico? Es, es, creo que, pues, es que se puede interpretar de diferentes formas. ¿no? Puede ser Ajá, de porque six? como dice desde, como dice desde. Porque no. puede ser de que ellos están comprometidos desde hace seis meses o puede ser que ellos están comprometidos por seis meses. De, Ajá, de, es, de, dependiendo del contexto, o sea, por eso que tenemos la duda. Uh, Porque es un tiempo sí, específico. No, no, pero, pero no, es, es, es un periodo. Va, se lo voy a decir, es un periodo, ¿verdad? De tiempo. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Por ejemplo, yo les voy a decir así, ¿va? yo he estado casado por 11 años. ¿Ah? Entonces, ¿cuál preposición voy a usar? Sería, sería for. For 11 years, ¿ok? For 11 years. El mismo caso aquí. Yes. Ah, ok. Y en la 1 tengan cuidado también porque es tramposa, miren. Dice a month es un periodo de tiempo. Y last year es tiempo específico. Entonces, ¿cuál van a usar? For. Mm, I don't know. You tell me, right? Ustedes me lo dicen. Al, al final lo comparamos. Pero tenganle cuidado a esa, ¿ok? Good. Ah, teacher, okay. una, una, ah, una, ah, ok. Eh, en el number seven, only de, 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 mm -hmm. curioso, solo, solo curiosidad. Eh, sí. Digamos, si estoy platicando y yo estoy diciendo que estoy comprometida desde hace seis meses, es correcto decir since. O, o es necesario decir for. Es que cuando usted dice desde de hace, uh -huh. eh, desde. Eh, usted tiene que establecer un, un punto no sé. y otro punto. ¿Cuál sería el uh -huh. primer punto? El primer punto sería eh, junio, sería, ¿verdad? Julio. Julio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Julio. I have been engaged, he estado comprometido desde julio. Desde este punto hasta este punto. Entonces usted va a usar since July. Okay. ¿Sí? Pero uh -huh. en este caso... Si usted quiere decir, he estado comprometido desde hace seis meses o por seis meses, que es lo mismo. Usted dice, desde hace seis meses o por seis meses, sí, tiene que usar mismo. for. En inglés, tiene que ser así. Ah, ok. Si, si, si no puedo usar okay. since, okay. no se puede okay. usar okay. since. Ok. Good. Thank you, teacher. Continue. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ahí los dejo solito. Ahí dense duro ustedes. <laughs> ok. Mm. Es que eso es lo que vamos, que va a ser más crítico. Sí, exacto. ¿Ready? Ready. Yes, yes, teacher. Excelente. Ready. Ready, teacher. Ok. Solo quiero ver cómo están los de las otras salas y, y lo chequeamos juntos, ¿ok? Ok, okay teacher. Okay. Excelente. ¿Ready? ¿Terminamos? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok. Solo voy a la sala 3 y si lo, de acuerdo a lo que me digan, nos reunimos ya, ok. Ok, good. Ready? Terminamos, chicos. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Bueno, entonces regresamos todos, entonces.
jugar a Jitsu en Rolando. <risa> es que yo veo que Rolando siempre se inspira con los corazones que tiene en la pared. Ya voy a poner uno yo también aquí. <risa> Para que digan el chico es... <risa> Romántico. <¿verdad? boy>, right? <risa> de detallista. Ok, very good. Déjenme ver si ya estamos todos. Sí, ya estamos todos, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, let's start group one, group two, group three, right? Group number one, please. Pam. Pam was in, in Central America since a month last year. Since. Since. Mm. Since. No, I'm sorry. Why? It's for a month. Why? Because the first part that you pay attention is the period of time, a month. Estuvo en América Central por un mes el año pasado. Okay. Ah, okay. For a okay, month okay. last year. Se quedó ahí en, en América Central, ahí por, por el Tunco, ¿verdad? <laughs> en El Salvador. Oy, oy. Last year, last year, understand? So, okay, understand. Okay, good. Number two, group number two, please. Lead being a college student for almost four years. Excellent. Four, right? Don't pay attention four. in almost because the most important period is here. Four years. Group number three, please. Hiroshi. Group three. Uh, Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Cling. Correct. <laughs> Number three, number four, sorry. Group number one, please. I haven't gone, I haven't gone to a party for a long time. For a long time. Mm. Okay. Let me see. For a long time. It's like you say, desde hace un tiempo muy largo. Desde que yo estaba en, la, en bachillerato, desde que yo estudiaba en la universidad, desde que yo... Uh, me, me mudé a mexicanos, right? So in this case, is since. Okay, let me since. see. Déjeme, déjeme estar seguro, <laughs> porque no va a ser que yo les esté mintiendo acá. Okay. Ah, aquí está. Pues si yo les estaba mintiendo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. <laughs> for a long time, yes. Okay. Sorry, also for the teacher. Por aquí estaba. Long time. <laughs> Four. Yes. Yes. Teacher, casi se nos va la boca de lado. <laughs> ah, ok, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Llevan a ser dos equivocadas. No, pero esto está bien. Excelente. Congratulations. Es más, en esta ustedes corrigieron al teacher. <laughs> ok, so for a long time. Thank you, thank you. Number five, please. Group number two. George lived in Venezuela. Venezuela for two years as a kid. As a kid. Como un cabrito. <laughs> Como un niño, right? As a kid. Good. Number six, please. Group number three. <clears throat> Sorry. Group number three. Uh, my parents have been on vacation since Monday. Cling. Correct, right? Group number one, please. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Cling. Correct. Good. Number eight, please. Group number two. Pat and Valeria have been best friends in high school. And I'm sorry. No, come on. It's <laughs> cling. <laughs> cling. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. What? Bad, teacher, okay. <laughs> Since high school, right? Since high school, right? Okay, that's it. Now let's go to the platform. Let's go to the platform and let's check, right? Let me see. Uh, oh, here, right? Okie dokie. Give me a second here, right?
Okay, we're going to review this video. No, no, we already did it, right? Uh, just give me a second. Six, four, four. Okay, here. It's 6.9, right? No, este es el video que quería que repasáramos, okay? Please, pay attention. Let me see. Yes, we have time, we have time. The present perfect versus simple past. I've never had it. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Okay, I want to clarify again here uh, that when you, you, you say indefinite time, you can say, you know, that the event happening and that's it, right? But with the simple past, it's very specific, but the difference here with the use of for and sin, right? So, uh, Roberto me preguntaba, ¿verdad? Que por qué aquí aparece yesterday, last year, 2006. Okay, la única diferencia aquí, the only difference here is that that the simple past, you know, started and ended in the past, right? Comenzó y terminó en el pasado, okay? But when you use the present perfect, right? You say, right, that happened in the past, pasó en el, valga la redundancia, pasó en el pasado, okay? Pero todavía tiene un efecto ahora en el presente, okay? Por decir algo, yo he comido, Y hasta la fecha todavía sigo vivo <ríe> y, 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 y tiene efecto, o sea que es una experiencia personal que yo he vivido. Si yo he comido eh, venado, I have eaten deer, for example, right? Eh, o oh, I have studied English since last, last year, for example, desde el año pasado, for example, right? And then you say, ah, pero el año pasado, pero yesterday, last weekend, etc., etc. But eh, the difference is that this um, action also has an effect in the present. Todavía tiene un efecto en el presente. Esa es la diferencia, ¿verdad? Pero en general decimos que el, el presente perfecto, indefinite time. Y el pasado simple, definite or specific time, right? Now continue. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay. So this is the remark, the, the present perfect versus, versus the simple path, right? Now, uh, here we're going to complete these sentences in the knowledge check 5.9 with simple present or oh, simple path, sorry, and present perfect, right? Now, when you see the word ever, immediately you say, ah, present perfect, right? Now, in the present perfect, we use the auxiliary have, sorry, and has, right? In this case, for you, what do you use for you? Esta pregunta no es retórica, pueden contestarla. I use have or has. Mm -hmm. How? How, have. correct, have, correct. How. So uh -huh. and then you are going to put here the past participle. Por eso es importante que nos aprendamos, okay, la, los pasados participios de los verbos, right? It's very important you learn it. Así que en este caso, pues, uno de estos es el pasado participio, ¿verdad? Must have. Ahí ustedes determinen cuál es, okay? Number two. Because this is a question, yes, no question, you answer yes. Yes, I have, yes, I has, yes, I did. Me está preguntando con el, el presente perfecto, entonces yo voy a responder con el presente perfecto. 
Pero inmediatamente después, Creo que dice yo puedo ella. usar el pasado simple, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Entonces, aquí, aquí, en este caso, vamos a decir, yes, yes, I have, yes, I has, o yes, I did. E inmediatamente después, vamos a usar una forma del pasado simple aquí. Entonces, ustedes díganme cuál de estos tres es el pasado simple más el auxiliar después del have, ¿verdad? Es... No, no, don't say. No es. Eso no es. Es a secret, right? Girls, I know for you it's very difficult to keep secret, right? Para okay. la, 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 es más difícil guardar secreto, pero... Don't say, don't say. Shh. It's a secret, right? Ok, number three. Again, ever. Look, ever. So it's present perfect. Now the only thing you have to find out is the, the past participle of loose. What is the past participle for loose, right? Ok, here, here you have the answer, right? And also the auxiliary for you. Have or have, right? Okay. And then you answer. No. No, I haven't. No, porque la vas a eliminar. Quiero probar. No, no sé. But my brother. <laughs> but my brother. No. Aquí vamos al pasado. Es que me vas a dejar vamos. sin bola. Mejor espérate y probas en, el, en este. En el Silvita. Y Silvita, claro. Silvia, vamos, Ay, a parar, me está... vamos a parar un ratito ahí, ¿verdad? No me preocupe. Aquí he tenido yo también inconveniente que a veces pasa el perrito, ¿verdad? Bajo mis pies y todo. Sucede, sucede, no se preocupe. Ok, now, but my brother, my, my brother, look, so this is past tense, you see? Después de, de estar hablando en presente perfecto, de lo que sigue es el pasado simple. Entonces aquí ustedes díganme cuál es el pasado simple del verbo luz, right? Ok. Number five, again, the present perfect, right? And the past participle for get. Get. What is the past participle? Ok. And the same dynamic. I answer with yes, I have, yes, she has. Yes, we have. Yes, he has. Once I, and you copy the past tense for the verb get, right? For the verb get, the past tense, right? Good, seven, the same dynamic. The past participle for C, the simple past for C. Number nine, the past participle for B, And the simple path for B. Okay? Do you have any question about this knowledge check? No question. Okay. Now let's watch the video for and since. Pay attention, please. Hello. In this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning. Since last week. Since yesterday. Since I was a child. Since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay. Any extra question about the use of for and since? No. 
No. Okay. Good. Now, now let's check. Read the following sentences and choose between for and since, depending on the context, right? You know the answer. Aquí ya saben la respuesta, pues. For and since, right? Aquí ya no caen en la trampa, ya saben. <ríe> y aquí es donde el, el, el teacher es el que más sabe la cuatro. Yo es el que más me puedo. <ríe> ok. Good. Look two years as a kid, right? Monday, six months, high school. Specific moment, high school, right? 6.30, specific moment, and 30 minutes is period of time, right? Creo que con el, con el ejercicio, con los ojos cerrados, pueden hacer este, este knowledge check, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, terminamos entonces con la 5.14. Pay attention, please. Link sounds, link sounds. Hi, in this lesson, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final and sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes. Yeah. Mm, okay, good. Now, listen to me. Uh, remember, just give me a second. Over here. Okay. 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 Here, right? Now, uh, the, scent, the verb cook has a T sound, right? Cooked. Okay? So you said, I, I've already cooked it. Cooked it. Right? But in this case, you can omit one of the T. So omite uno de los dos sonidos de T, right? Y se une, right? You link. And then you say, cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it, cooked it. You see? So you link the sound. Unimos el sonido de la T con el, con que termina cooked, y el, la T de it. And then we say cooked it, cooked it, right? Cooked it. Uh, cooked, it. it. cooked it, cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Okay, es diferente cuando decimos en presente, ¿verdad? Cook it, cook it, cooked it. Cook it. Cooked it. ¿Ah? Se une, ¿verdad? Luego en el verbo tried, la pronunciación es the, the, tried. The. Y tried. se une con el sonido del pronombre it. Entonces decimos tried, tried it. it. Tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Oigan bien cómo se oye normal, normal, ¿verdad? Si, si fuera más estricto, sin, sin el sonido unido. Sería, I tried it once in Miami. Yes, I tried it. Once in my, oh, well, right. But if you say, I tried it once in Miami. I tried okay. it. Tried once. it. Y, once. And por favor, quiero ser see. bien claro con esto. No se me vayan a confundir. Cuando digo Miami aquí, no me refiero a ningún centro penitenciario de El Salvador, ¿ok? Es una ciudad de Estados Unidos, ¿ok? Good. Now, again, please repeat after me. Cooked it. Tried it. Tried it. Okay, good. Now let's practice with this. Vamos a practicar con los últimos sonidos acá. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Now I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Okay. Um, lastimosamente ya se nos fue el... El tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, I don't know if you have any question. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta sobre este, sobre este sonido? No. Ok, aquí está otra vez. Cooked it. Cooked it. ¿Ah? Ok. Cooked it. Cooked, cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Mm? Ok, Teacher. good. Yes, tell me. 
y la plataforma después que terminemos el curso va a quedar disponible por si nosotros queremos repasar algo o definitivamente se cierra. Lamentablemente se cierra. Sí, eh, es porque como recuérdese que la plataforma es una forma de evaluarlos. Yo no puedo evaluarlos, ¿verdad? Este, porque este es un, una asesoría, dijéramos, para que ustedes trabajen en la plataforma. Entonces, eh, la única forma que tienen ustedes para trabajar es con los exámenes, los knowledge check y todo eso es con la plataforma. Entonces, eh, hay, así como en los exámenes en la universidad, por ejemplo, que ustedes les dan un día específico para hacerlo y tienen ese día nada más para hacer el examen, lo mismo sucede con la plataforma. Tiene un deadline, un deadline, que es mañana a las 12 de la noche, ¿verdad? Pero igual, este... Eh, teacher. Yo estoy a sus órdenes, ahí queda mi número también, ¿verdad? Yo sigo trabajando, si Dios lo permite, en inglés corporativo. Y si tienen alguna duda, pues, ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Ahí tiene mi número telefónico, ¿verdad? Teacher, ¿Y usted, ¿usted tiene una idea de cuándo empezaría el, el siguiente módulo? No. Ya en enero. Ni, ni tampoco en la oficina, creo que ellos no tienen idea todavía, porque me imagino que tienen que planificar muchas cosas los compañeros sí, ahí en la oficina. Mi pregunta es porque, a, al menos hoy, de, de Recursos Humanos se comunicaron conmigo uh -huh. que, bueno, sí va a seguir, sí va a continuar con, con, con el curso, y, porque ya les había caído una notificación que era hasta el 23. Y después ya iban a programar ya en enero el siguiente módulo. Sí, sí, es que lo que pasa es que hasta el 23 para que ustedes entreguen los papeles, ¿verdad? Pero la fecha específica de inicio para el curso en enero todavía no está definida, ¿verdad? Así es que vamos a esperar y como les digo yo, pues ahí, si yo me entero de algo y ustedes quieren preguntarme, yo ahí estoy a sus órdenes, ¿verdad? Solo que en lo administrativo sí. Ahí les debo mucha información, así que pregúntenle a los compañeros de, que aparecen ahí, recuérdense, está Jonathan, está Oscar, y bueno, los demás compañeros que los pueden apoyar ahí, ¿verdad? Pero hasta donde no nos han dado la información, tienen hasta el 23 de diciembre y en enero inicia nuevamente, pero no hay una fecha específica todavía, ¿ok? Good. It's a pleasure. Nos vemos mañana todavía, no nos despidamos todavía, mañana. Omar. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, everybody.